Okay. Today, I will be showing you how to use Process Lasso with an AMD 9950X3D 16 core processor. It will change on its own while using a high performance power plan in without using game bar. So I know a lot of people don't like using game bar and people like to use a high performance power plan. And to show you that it worked, I'm gonna show you my power plan right now. See, I'm on business performance. We will also, I'll show you game mode is off. Game mode is off. Game bar is off, which I really don't even have game bar on this system. I have a version of Windows. First thing first, what I done with my system, everything over here is set to the frequency, which is CCD1. I pretty much forced everything to run on that CCD pretty much the whole time I'm playing video games. And the way I did it, I hold shift and I select it. You right click, you go to CPU Affinity. You want to go to Always. Then you will select CPU Affinity here. And it'll give you the list of both sides. And what you will want to do, you will hit CCD1 for frequency and you will hit OK. Now, the program that needs to run on both CCDs, it will not let you change them. So you don't have to worry about messing anything up. And if you go to rules, not rules, but uh, you click on CPU Affinity, it'll show you every one that you changed over here. Sixteen and thirty-one. That's all the ones that I changed. Click on again; it'll show you the one that didn't change. And a lot of these programs that didn't change are ones I did myself, or programs that just not going to let you do it anyway. So, if you want to say, fancy you playing Call of Duty. And you want Call of Duty to run on your X3D chip every time you play, or any game for that matter, like Marvel Rivals. I play, I use that playing Steam, or sometimes I use Epic Games, Fortnite. What you want to do, you want to open up the launcher, not the game. You want to open up the launcher. In this case, BattleNet. BattleNet is already open, and you will go to your active processors. You will find BattleNet over here. You will right click on it. You go to your Affinity. Go to Always. And you select Affinity again. And then you, this time, you will not click Frequency. You don't want this one. You want the cache. This is where your X3D chip set. And you will click OK. And for your latency part, You just want to give it high priority. Always. And you want to go to I.O. priority. Always. Ha. You want to go to your boost. Always. You want to make sure that's on. And you want to induce performance mode. Me using a bit some power plan, I really don't have to, but I'm I do it anyway just to make sure. And that's also why I'm including it in this video. Induce 
performance mode. And then you want to exclude from pro balance for the people that still want to use the balance profile in power plan. And process lasso has its own balance power plan, which is called pro balance, which I would highly suggest that instead of the Windows power plan. Don't trust Windows for much of anything, especially when it's changing from dynamic cores back and forth. You don't want to do it. That's why I'm not using a regular balance power plan. That's why I don't use game bar. And I know a lot of other people that doesn't like game bar and want their system running at its full potential the whole time they playing games or anything else. And this process lasso allows me to do that without doing anything in the BIOS. Like some videos you will watch will have, you go change the dynamic cores inside BIOS. I have all that just auto. And I use this program right here. And it will just stay open in the background, which I have it right now. It has high priority to, to make sure it changes everything that I needed to change and for it to work properly. So to make sure that it's working, I have Rising Master open and we are going to open up Call of Duty. And once card open, it'll use EC CD zero. Some of, some of these cores will start going to sleep, but not all of them because I have a lot of processes in the background that's running that I use, like my steer series. This is for my IO pump, this is for bars meter, this is for ear trumpet, and of course I have OBS running in the background right now. So these are never go fully to sleep. Not for me anyway. But before I was using any of this, yeah, they will go to sleep. And the reason you see them sleep now while the game is running is because I'm doing stuff outside of the game. It, the game doesn't need that power right now, so it's not using them cores. As soon as I click back into the game, they start running. Now the game is loading up. It's really not doing anything. It's in a pre-game menu, and it's just sitting here. It'll boost when it need to. It'll lower down when it don't need to. And that's a real good, uh, I guess you can say that's a real good thing to have. I use it a lot. And ever since I've been using my game has been playing smooth. I haven't been having frame rate drops dramatically. The timing has been perfect. Um. In Call of Duty, I'm winning more gunfights because everything is adding up right. It's in sync. So with that being said, I will leave a link to where you can get Process Lasso in, a, in the description. I will also leave a link for Rising Master. I will leave a link for Twitch so you can ask me this live. And if this video helped you out, leave a like. Maybe think about subscribing for more videos like this in the future. And we'll keep in touch. In the meantime, Teddy out.